baby. Mm. I'm filming you. I'm leaving. He's leaving again. Like your airport outfit. This is camp, baby.
I just wish I could go with him. I know it's not the worst thing that could happen and we're super lucky. And I'm so thankful for this opportunity. But unless you've been in this situation. It's just horrible, like half of the year we do long distance and some years it ends up being the whole year and it's freaking hard see you guys again but I'm not in such a mess okay guys so I just got home from um well not just I got home from taking Ryan to the airport took a little nap, made my bed, and I just got out of the shower, and I wanted to show you guys this cute little package I got from Loving Tan. They sent me some Christmas goodies, so this arrived when I was gone for Christmas, but they um, sent me all this amazing product to try. I'm so excited, so I'm gonna do this tanning uh, mousse today. I think I'm gonna do the two hour express because um, today's Laura's baby shower, and I wanna look tan, so you guys know me. Um, and they also sent me Tim Tans because they're from New Zealand, and it's just so cute. Um, which you guys know my roommates are Australian, so I already love these, so I'm addicted. But anyways, so we're gonna try out this one today, and I'll let you guys know. I'll walk you through the process, and we'll see how I like it. Hi guys. Okay, so the last footage you saw was me showing you the new tanner I got and then I was gonna walk you through the process and you know what I just didn't get around to it because um it was Laura's baby shower yesterday we ended up going shopping and looking for dresses to wear which we were successful if you follow along on Instagram but we did I did get home and tan um so I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the color it's so pretty um, you can't really tell, but there you can tell. So it's such a good color. Okay, there we go. It's such a pretty color. I'm obsessed with the tan. Um, even on my face, it looks really good. And yeah, I just really, really love the color. So anyways, I'm obviously not wearing the best outfit to show you all, but let me see if I can show you on my face. And sorry about the greasiness. I just did like this highly ironic, um, face mask thing but you can tell it's kind of rubbed off on my face which is per usual but yeah the color is super pretty i love it and that's the update on that we also had laura's baby shower last night i'll insert some clips but i didn't vlog it just because we were running super late and by the time people got here i was still like putting balloons up on the wall and cleaning the kitchen and yeah we just kind of cut a little close so i didn't vlog but it was lovely she had a lot of fun that's all that matters so um what else i'm just posting an igtv video right now of my getting ready for the baby shower so it's my first one of 2020 if you all want to go watch that over on instagram you are more than welcome to i would love it if you went over and watched it and it kind of just breaks down like the makeup i used my outfit my earrings my jewelry xyz so anyways we are just lounging around today um cleaning up getting organized for the week i need to go to the grocery store and all that jazz so if i do anything else today i will take you guys with me um i also need to edit and get some of these videos up for you guys so that's what's happening just wanted to update you and i'll see you soon hi guys okay so it's a few days later and i just watched back like the last footage you would have seen just to give myself a reference point because it's been a few days since i picked up the camera so that was sunday when i was talking to you last today is currently wednesday it's my day off of work at the hospital so as you guys know i am constantly working i feel like even when i'm not at work so um i just this morning i spent the morning editing and i'm uploading a vlog right now of our trip in snow basin and our new year's eve party so that was a super freaking fun week and i hope you guys watch that vlog because it seriously encompasses like my relationship with Ryan, my relationship with my family, it's a huge part of my life, like being a skier and being in the ski industry and just like all of that part of my life that you guys don't get to see that often because when I'm here, I don't always show you that. So anyways, it was super fun. I had so much fun with my family and with Ryan and just like soaked up that time with all of them. So sorry for being a little MIA from YouTube, but it was a much needed break and we both just, Ryan and I both just like, we're in love with that week it just was 
everything and more that we needed to kind of reset and just get in a super good headspace going into this time of being apart. So anyways, thanks for watching that video if you guys have checked it out and if you haven't, you should go watch it. So today, yeah, I spent the morning editing, showered, it was hair wash day, so hair's looking fresh, which is always good. And then I was gonna go hiking with my friend Jess and I started feeling overwhelmed. You know that feeling when, I don't know if you guys can relate, but when you are a nurse, there's only so many hours in the day that you're not in the hospital. So for me, I go in at 6 a.m. and I don't leave until 5 p.m. Then I usually go right to the gym, then I come home. So by the time I get home, I it's like seven o'clock and the post office isn't open. I can't go get my nails done. I can't go get my eyebrows done. I can't really go to the grocery store because everyone and their mother's at the grocery store by then. So anyways, I just kind of started feeling stressed that it was my one day off during the week and I wasn't gonna get everything done. So I told Jess, postpone the hike until the weekend. I think she still went, but anyways, long story short, I took Chippy out to play. I just got back from the post office because I had to ship a bunch of stuff out, returns, thank you notes, a bunch of stuff. And I just got home. So I'm gonna go inside and eat my Chipotle. I got two bowls last night. One was a veg vegetarian bowl. Well, they're both vegetarian. One was just like a veggie bowl. And then the other one, I got the sofritas, which I've never tried before. And I'm not a huge tofu person because I don't think soy really agrees with me, but I'm gonna give those a try. So I'm gonna go in. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. I'm gonna go in, eat my lunch, and then I made a nail appointment for um, 2.30 and it's 1.54 now, so um, it's like right down the street. So I'm gonna get my nails redone. I still have my Christmas color nails, but I'll show you guys what I am thinking of doing. Actually, I'll show you right now because we're sitting here. Um, So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Oh, and then my cousin, Riley, who I don't know if you guys, have you guys met Riley? Yeah, you've. well, he was in my Michigan vlog um, when my cousin got married but so this is what I want to do just super simple um, really small thin white tips which um, I feel like this is super in right now but that's the goal that's what I'm gonna go for I think it's just super classy pretty nice not colored just good so anyways that's the plan let's go inside and See y'all in a minute. Okay, there you go. So this is what I got last night and I'm actually gonna portion out half of it for now and then I think half for either dinner tonight or lunch tomorrow. But basically what I get, hold on. So what I get is white rice, no beans. I go back and forth with beans. I feel like they really like upset my stomach, but every now and then I like them for the protein. Um, so I did white rice, no beans, I did the fajita veggies, sofritas, and then I get a little bit of cheese, a little sour cream, corn salsa, medium salsa, oh my God, I'm making a mess. Corn salsa, medium salsa, and lettuce. So, okay, wow, she made a huge mess. This will be my lunch for tomorrow. And this is what I'm gonna eat now. So I'm gonna warm this up really quick. So do you think it'll look weird if we, once the tree's gone, if we bring that other desk up to that room? Can I tell you what I'm thinking? Yes, please do, because I'm like, I don't really... Do you want my desk going up? I mean, yeah, I'll take either of them. I think... Well, I don't As think in, need, like, do you want yours or? Oh, I see what you're saying. Because if not, I'm happy to take it down. Okay, either way, go ahead. Um, what about... Here, I'm coming, one second. Okay guys, so I just got my nails done and she did such a good job. I, Looking at them now, I wish I would have gone even a tiny bit thinner, but she did so good. Um, you can't really tell in this light, but it's like a light pink base and then um, just a thin white line. So sorry, my fingers look, my fingers always look chunky when I look at them on camera, I feel like. They look like sausages. Anyways, um, yeah, love them, super cute. I just pulled into the house, so I'm about to go inside, but um, yeah, just wanted to show you the nails. So, I just got back from dinner. Um, I went to dinner down in Denver. 
Here's my baby. He's being so cuddly. Um, I went to Dun blah, 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 blah. went to dinner in Denver with my cousin Riley. So Riley is my mom's brother's son. Um, one of my mom's brothers. She has two brothers and a sister. And I have like ten. How many cousins do I have? nine cousins um on that side so anyways um he is a senior at notre dame and he just got a job interview at a analytics company in denver so he was just in for the day and the night and then his job interviews tomorrow and then he flies out so anyways he had never been to denver before so i took him to dinner down at union station and it was awesome it was really fun to see him and catch up and like normally it's all the cousins together and so it was kind of fun to just like have him one-on-one -on -one and just catch up with him see what's going on in his life i'm super close with all my cousins so it, yeah it just it was really fun to see him <sighs> what else so yeah i just got home um just about to get ready for bed but i figured i would kind of end this vlog here yeah i don't know i feel like i've been doing such a good job of distracting myself with different things since ryan's been gone and it's only been I guess tomorrow will be day five but that's what I need to just keep doing because if not I get sad and kind of like get in a rut so I'm doing good so far five days in and um, yeah I just I don't know I hope that this video shows kind of the ups and the downs of dating an athlete and I know a lot of you guys can relate so comment below um, if you guys know the struggle, because I know a lot of you guys, your boyfriends, husbands, fiancés, partners, play sports, and, um, and or in the army, navy, whatever, so they're gone for months at a time, and it's just really difficult. But I'm really glad to have you guys and have a community of people that like understand and help lift me up during the times that he's gone. I feel like you guys literally rally around me and like I got so many messages on Instagram today just like I know you're missing Ryan like here's a little bit of love or whatever it might be like you guys are just so awesome and you always um, have the sweetest like nicest things to say and I just love you guys all so much and I feel like I don't know it's such a good community to have around me so Another thing that sucks is that he's in Texas, so it's an hour later there, and he goes to bed early-ish. Like, he usually tries to go to bed around 9 o'clock there, 9 or 10, I should say, which is, you know, obviously an hour earlier here, so I didn't get to, like, talk to him tonight, say goodnight, because I was with my cousin just chatting, but, um, yeah, I'd say that's one of the hard things, and then he's literally training from 9 a.m. till 5 or in meetings and so I have like withdrawals of talking to him because even when I don't know when you're long distance especially I feel like you want that constant communication just to make sure that like you know that they're thinking about you they know that you're thinking or they know that you're thinking about them and all that like you guys know this stuff I don't even need to say it but I thought I would just include my thoughts in the end of this vlog because <laughs> it's about kind of long distance and how we get through it so I don't know facetimes help a ton and like i said i'm just staying distracted i'm like really one of my goals of 2020 uh, in general is just to like focus on myself and get back to the things that make me happy and not necessarily like us as a couple because i do have so much time to just spend on my own and like with chippy and with my friends so since ryan is gone i'm just like trying to look at all the positives of the situation and to take that time and just focus it back into myself, um, back into my faith, my friends, my family, and just like self-care, like what makes me happy. Um, so tomorrow night, speaking of, I'm going with a couple friends. Um, they're actually my sister's really good friends from CU who I've just kind of made them my friends too because my sister doesn't live here anymore and I always just like hung out with them and they're amazing girls. So um, Lindsay and Danny, I'm going to go to a young adults group with them, which which it's, a, it's one that I've never been to before. But um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow night and... This weekend, I have another baby shower on Saturday, one of my coworkers' baby showers. Oh, thank you. To be good, the star of the show here. Or the star of the show. I love you so much. 
so much. Oh my goodness. Anyways, that was so cute. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what I would do without Chip, to be honest. Like, I honestly don't know what I would do. Um, anyways, so that's tomorrow and Saturday. And then I'm on call on Sunday, so I will still be vlogging. I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs at least, if not more than that, um, all of 2020. So look forward to that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. A ton of you guys from my analytics like that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. I know a ton of you are, but literally more than half of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So just imagine the possibilities if all of you hit subscribe. I could hit 100K. It's all in your hands, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I love you. I'll catch you guys in a couple days. Bye!